Tommy Lee Sparta released attorney promises to sue the state and also the police them vow and promise to make sure they monitor these men they're gonna have them on the radar from sun up to nightfall ladies and gentlemen a bugger things media tv i have a big story here i want you guys to sit down and relax and enjoy the one year cause you know you are really a guan you know you see that Cheer. Cheer. i am the jackal jamaican assassin killing all names you already know what it is, man. For you hear the voice, you already know it's the urban legend himself. Baga Things Media TV, subscribe to it. You and the family, you can vibe to it. Accurate news, ain't no lies to it. You notice the truth, subscribe, stupid. Yeah, man, you know what it is, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Representing for the baddest channel on YouTube TV. Baga Things Media TV, man. The only place you need to be tapped into. Jack who said that. Dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta, who was detained under the State of Public Emergency SOE in St. James, was released on Monday and his lawyer has also pledged to sue the state. The tribunal handed down their findings today, Monday, and I received an email at 11.59 a.m. with the details. Attorney at Law Ernest Smith told the star. So ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Lee Sparta is back on the streets again. I don't know where I'm doing with him freedom now. I don't know if I'm caught up in a more fire, more heat with the police them because them already a monitor him. They already upset that they must let him go. They never want this to happen. The man they serious about sinking Tommy Lee Sparta. So I'm going advise him for using freedom wisely. Now, let me jump back into the paper now. Initially, a person of interest Following a flare-up of violence in Montego Bay, Tommy Lee Sparta was subsequently held in custody without charge from July the 7th until August the 17th. The tribunal ruled that the evidence was insufficient to keep Leroy Russell, the entertainer given name, detained in the interest of public safety and that he should be released immediately. That means that whether or not the SOE was disbanded, my client would have been set free, Smith said. So Tommy Lee Sparta lawyer is confident that his client would have been released whether the dismantle of the SOE. Eh? Because they must say, boy, there's not much case. The case, the evidence and everything was insufficient against him, client. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, the police them. I put the file together against Tommy Lee Sparta. I don't know if he more eat this one and take measures by protecting self against certain things, avoid certain things, stay out of certain areas, stay upon a low profile. I don't know if you more do that. But here we are going now, bag of things, media TV, I go tell you no more. The attorney said that he called the artist's brother to tell him of the good news. And when he thought he was talking to the sibling, he was actually talking to Tommy Lee. So Tommy Lee is out, out and about, ladies and gentlemen, out and out and body in the street. You see me, I say? The yeah, young man and look out for Tommy Lee Sparta at your nearby community, is it? Him out He's there. saying seeking revenge. You know what I'm saying? So hear what they must say now. He held me up and said, King, during one of the question and answer session, they brought me up and said that his little daughter had been shot and asked if he wasn't going to seek revenge. Tommy Lee told them that he has asked the Lord to protect his child and that revenge belongs to God. I was so proud of him, Smith told the star. John knows that Tommy Lee become religious in that regards and start quoting the Bible. Yo, me can't believe how it is a maturity or it's just a way of getting out or squeeze out a lamb and them and I don't know when you tell me when you tell me below when you feel about that Tommy Lee becomes so religious and biblical the dog all a quote or some word in the Bible I don't know when you feel when you think of maturity because he spends so much time in a lock up and he might grow in the thing or it's just him a try for wiggling way out of the law system. I don't know to tell me what I go on. No, they must say the lawyer emphasized that there was absolutely no justification to keep his client in custody and charged that the incident was laced with malice. So when pretty much I said the police them after Tamili are malice, I eat, they eat Tamili. And that the lawyer saying, all right, about now, you know. 
Now, I'm going to take you a little further now. Yeah, we lie, I say no. In 2014, the police from St. James carried out a raid on his house in Kingston and accused him of lottery scamming. He went to court and was acquitted on a no case submission, which only highlighted the weakness of the prosecution case. He said, Smith in a bid to ensure that justice rolled down like water intends to file an action for false imprisonment as well as for loss of income. He lost millions of dollars from shows in parishes such as St. James and Nova Westmoreland because the promoters were threatened that they would not receive permits to host the event unless they remove his name off the poster. If events stretched overseas to extend that Tamale has been named persona non grata by the U.S. Embassy because of the file that police has created on him, Tamale Sparta was detained at the Freeport Police Lockup in Montego Bay. There's so much things against Tamale Sparta. When I hear the information with the liar went on to say that Tamale Sparta has been labeled as persona non grata means that he's not welcome nowhere in the United States not even the embassy no one for see him <laughs> no, you were really a go up at Tamale Sparta I don't know but the thing set away right and no police want him the US don't want to see him nobody want <laughs> yo John o star one wicked label this John no me can't believe no let me take you a little further and make you know you were really a go and know where the police the massacre the police them not nah, drop this you know the police them now nah, just let them go like that you know the man them say boy them are gonna have them under them radar and monitor every single move tamily make if you go a toilet the police them have to know what i go on hear what they must say still under our radar cops promise to monitor those released from soes all state of public emergency soes were lifted yesterday and the detainees were not charged have been set free John no star and guess what no reading from the star hear what they must say however commanding officers of the various police division in which SOE were in operation say these persons would be monitored yes no man superintendent Wayne Cameron commanding officer for the St. Andrew South police division said 50 detainees were released in his division so a man they must say even though they release them them now nah, go just set free man have go report for unconditional bill or the police them are going to monitor their every move when you hear what i say there were plans in place to monitor them because we have done our due diligence to collect addresses next of kin telephone number we have gone through a, a whole process he told the star we refer to them as violent influencers and so we have to pay attention to them and that the big man them must say big superintendent now nah, let loose now nah, lego gather for tommy lee sparta and some other man them are monitor them them are watch them every move ladies and gentlemen this is serious they must say no subtopic soes give authority so if soe gives authority to security forces to detain suspect persons enter premises and seize properties without warrant see soes were rolled out by the government in nine police divisions once arrested under an soe persons could be detained for up to 90 days without being charged but because of politics and the whole election campaign going on now at that i free up the monday me telling about politics you know i want to see you something in a jamaica you know now ladies and gentlemen let me take a step further hear what they must say commanding officer of kingston eastern superintendent victor hamilton said it would not be a challenge for his division to keep track of those considered violence influencer these are persons who are already known to the police so to monitor them will not be a problem they were always on the radar he said Commanding Officer of Westmoreland Police Division, Superintendent Robert Gordon, said he is focused on protecting the community to which the violent influencers would be returning. These persons we believe to be in criminal activities, so we will continue to monitor those places that we know they operate in to ensure there is no uptick 
in crime and violence, he said. Our presence also serves as some level of reassurance for the wider community. My love war go on the police them if you continue monitor the thing, continue monitor the thing and continue monitor the thing. That's all they have to do. And make sure so them have a criminal boy them under control. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Lee Sparta has released but he's not released from under the police them radar. They still under monitoring. The cops them are going to continue to monitor him from now till tomorrow, from left to right, from morning to evening, from sun up to sundown. I'm like that. Continue doing a job, police officers. Ladies and gentlemen of Jamaica, keep watching Bagger Things Media TV. Like, share, subscribe, support the platform. Up, 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 up. Bagger Things Media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal. Out.